All right, so in this lesson, we're going to take a closer look at the menus. Now, you probably already know how to use the menus. However, I'm going to show you something that you may wish to use for your workflow. Now, Photoshop provides you with a lot of tools and options for helping you achieve your creative vision, all of which can be accessed via your menus. And there is so much information that depending on your monitor size, you may have to scroll through some of the menus to access all the information. Now, this is not only time consuming, but a hassle as well. And you can actually fix that by customizing what you actually see in the menu. In fact, we can create custom menu selections that are created for specific projects. You can have a menu of options set up for creating websites. You can have another set of menu options that can be used when you're creating brochures or whatever else type of projects that you may be working on. This way, you only have the options and tools that you need for that specific project. How cool would that be? Well, let me show you how easy it is to set up your custom menus and save them for different projects. All right, so to create our custom menus, we're gonna go up to edit and we're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom and select menus. The first time you access this, you're gonna see a set called Photoshop defaults. You can also select from application menus or panel menus, but for now, let's stick with application menus. All right, let's check out all the different options under image. All right, so let's say you're doing all your outputting to RGB color and you never use CMYK color. Well, you can turn off that option and it will never be shown in the image drop-down menu unless you reactivate it. Now, another cool thing is you can add color labels to specific menu options. So this will allow you to create a workflow based on those colors or just to make that menu option more visible as you're working. Now, once you've gone through all the different menu options, you can then save it as your default or you can save it as a specific menu option for a particular workflow. So to do that, come up here and click on this button. Give your new menu list a project name and save it. So keep this in mind as you're working on different projects, you may notice a lot of different options and tools are getting in your way and you may not need them for that specific project. For example, you could be creating a website and find that half the menu options are not even related to that project. So you could create a menu list just for website creation, which will allow you to concentrate just on the tools that you need for that specific project. And like I mentioned, you can also set up different menu options for other types of projects that may relate to topography or editing your photographs. It all depends on the type of work you do and the project that you're working on. So this is just another way for increasing your productivity. All right, so in the next lesson, we're gonna explore how to save one hour of work for every eight hours worked. So if you're ready to learn how to do that, let's get started.